Hey Storytime friends, I hope you've had a great week. And today we are going to talk a little bit about our bodies, moving our bodies, what to put in our bodies, and fun things like that. So let's start with our first song. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but last week that very hungry caterpillar went through a lot of different foods. And did you notice when the caterpillar went through the chocolate cake, what else, ice cream, lollipops, all that good, not so good stuff, that's when the hungry caterpillar really did not feel good. And all that stuff is great. There are no bad foods. All foods are great, but some foods probably we shouldn't eat a ton of or it kind of makes us feel yucky. Have you guys ever done that where you ate a ton of like Halloween candy or, or Easter's coming up, a lot of Easter candy, a little too much and kind of felt bleh. Anyway, so our first story is kind of silly because it is Gregory the Terrible Eater. And I don't know if you guys know much about goats, but goats love to eat like garbage, real garbage. So it's kind of a silly book. This little goat, his parents wants him to eat good, but what they think is good is eating garbage. And what he wants is good, healthy food. So we're gonna read this story. Gregory the Terrible Eater by Mitchell Charmett. Illustrated by Jose Ar Arugo and Ariane Dewey. Once there was a goat named Gregory. Gregory liked to jump from rock to rock, kick his legs into the air, and butt his head against walls. I am an average goat, said Gregory. But Gregory was not an average goat. Gregory was a terrible eater. Every time he sat down to eat with his mother and father, he knew he was in for trouble. Would you like a tin can, Gregory? Asked Mother Goat. No thanks, said Gregory. How about a nice box, a piece of rug, and a bottle cap? Asked Father Goat. Bah, said Gregory unhappily. Well, I think this is a meal fit for a goat, said Mother Goat, as she chewed on an old shoe. It certainly is, said Father Goat, as he ate his shirt, buttons and all. I don't know why you're such a fussy eater, Gregory. <laughs> Would you guys want to eat those things? An old shoe? I'm not fussy, said Gregory. I just want fruits, vegetables, eggs, fish, bread, and butter. Good stuff like that. Mother Goat stopped eating the shoe. Now, what kind of food is that, Gregory? She said. It's what I like, said Gregory. It's revolting, said Father Goat. He wiped his mouth with his napkin. <laughs> Isn't that funny that the dad has a napkin after he was eating old shoes and shirts and stuff? After Gregory was excused from the table, Father Goat said, Gregory is such a terrible eater. I wonder what's wrong with him, said Mother Goat. Mother and Father Goat ate their evening newspaper in silence. <laughs> the next morning, Mother and Father Goat were enjoying a pair of pants and a coat for breakfast. Gregory came to the table. Good morning, Gregory, said Father and Mother Goat. Good morning, said Gregory. May I have some orange juice, cereal, and bananas for breakfast, please? Oh no, Mother Goat said. Do have some of this nice coat. Take a bite out of these pants, said Father Goat. Bah, said Gregory, and he left the table. Father Goat threw down his napkin. That does it, he said. Gregory just isn't eating right. We must take him to the doctor. Father and Mother Goat took Gregory to the doctor. Dr. Ram was munching on a few pieces of cardboard. Mm -hmm. 
What seems to be the trouble, he asked. Gregory is a terrible eater, said Mother Goat. We've offered him the best shoes, boxes, magazines, tin cans, coats, pants, but all he wants are fruits, vegetables, eggs, fish, orange juice, and other horrible things. What do you have to say about this, Gregory? asked Dr. Graham. I want what I like, said Gregory. Makes sense, said Dr. Ram. He turned to mother and father goat. I've treated picky eaters before, he said. They have to develop a taste for good food slowly. Try giving Gregory one new food each day until he eats everything. That night for dinner, mother goat gave Gregory spaghetti and a shoelace and tomato sauce. Not too bad, said Gregory. The next day she gave him string beans and a rubber heel cut out of cut, cut into small pieces. The meal was good and rubbery, said Gregory. The day after that, Mother Goat said, We have your favorite today, vegetable soup, but there is one condition. You have to eat the can. Okay, said Gregory, what's for dessert? Ice cream, said Father Goat, but you have to eat the box too. Yummy, said Gregory. I'm proud of you, said Father Goat. You're beginning to eat like a goat. I'm learning to like everything, said Gregory. One evening, Father Goat asked, has anyone seen my striped necktie? Not since breakfast, said Mother Goat. Come to think of it, I haven't seen my sewing basket today. I left it in the living room after supper last night. Father Goat turned to Gregory. Gregory, have you been eating between meals? Yes, said Gregory, I can't help it. Now I like everything. Well, said Mother Goat, it's all right to eat like a goat, but you shouldn't eat like a pig. Oh, said Gregory. <laughs> After Gregory went to bed, Mother Goat said, I'm afraid Gregory, Gregory, you will eat my clothes hamper. Yes, and then my toolkit will be next, said Father Goat. He's eating too much. We'll have to do something about it. The next morning, just before supper, mother and father goat went to the town dump. They brought home eight flat tires, three foot piece of barber, a three foot piece of a barber pole, a broken violin, and half a car. <laughs> half of a car, you guys. When Gregory came home for supper, he said, what's all that stuff in the yard? Your supper, father goat said. It all looks good, said Gregory. Gregory first ate the tires and the violin. Then he slowly ate the barber pole. But when he started in on the car, he said, I've got a stomach ache. I have to lie down. Gregory went to his room. I think Gregory ate too much junk, said Father Goat. Let's hope so, said Mother Goat. He really was eating junk, right guys? All night, Gregory tossed and twisted and moaned and groaned. Ooh, that does not feel good. The next morning, he went down for breakfast. What would you like for breakfast today, Gregory? Asked Father Goat. Scrambled eggs and two pieces of wax paper and a glass of orange juice, said Gregory. That sounds about right, said Mother Goat. And it was. So Gregory ate a little bit of the food that his mom and dad wanted him to eat and a little bit of the food that he liked. So last week we had a caterpillar with a stomach ache. This week we had a goat with a stomach ache, right? <laughs> so do you guys have foods that your mom and dad have tried to give you and you think looks yuck? Kind of like Gregory, right? And Dr. Ram says, try one new thing a day, which sometimes we can try one new thing a day. But sometimes when we think things look kind of yucky, they might be worth giving a try. Have you guys ever watched the show Daniel Tiger? My girls loved watching Daniel Tiger and I still have a song in my head. And whenever my kids don't want to eat something that I offer them, I always think of this song. It goes, you gotta try new foods cause it might taste good. Have you guys heard that? 
because I always sing that to my kids, but that doesn't mean they want to try it. But sometimes it's worth trying new things and seeing if you like it. And one interesting thing is, even if you don't like it, you could try it another time and maybe you would like it that time. Sometimes it takes a while for our taste buds to get used to different flavors. So it's worth trying fruits and vegetables and healthy things and you might end up liking it. So another way to keep our bodies healthy, besides just eating good things, is moving our bodies, right? So I have another book by Eric Carl. It's called From Head to Toe. And it's gonna show us some fun things that have to do with moving, okay? So if you guys have some space, you probably don't need too much space, but I want you guys to move, okay? Here we have, I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? Can you turn your head? I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? That is a long bend, can't do that. But that we can do, we can bend our heads a little, right? I am a buffalo, I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? Can you do it? I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I bet you guys can clap. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? You might need to pause the video if you wanna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that one today. It might look kinda of silly. I am a crocodile and I wiggle my hips. Can you do it? You guys wiggle your hips? I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? That's pretty impressive. Let's see if you can kick your legs. I am an elephant and I stomp my feet. Can you do it? I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? That's a cute book about moving our bodies and as it gets more sunny outside and hopefully a little bit warmer than it's been, we can be out and moving our bodies even more. So next week we are going to talk about weather and different weather and we are going to make these cute weather headbands. If you guys wanna come into the library, you know I like headbands, guys. So, this is my headband. I drew some smiley faces, and I put my favorite sun first. Love the sun. Rain I like. Uh, what's this? Ooh, tornado. Don't like that, so I put that in the back. And we have a cute cloud. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Cloud, rain, tornado lightning. I put the ones I don't like in the back, but you guys can put them however you want. And so next week we'll have fun with weather. So it's time for a goodbye song. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time right here at Storytime. Have a wonderful week, everyone.